Allah. I was a Muslim, and I believe in Allah. But Allah was to me was God, and I believe in that God. But that God that never does anything for me. It was, it wasn't alive. It wasn't. I had no relation with that God. The God was in the closet whenever I needed. I ask him something, and then I put it in the closet and then go. So I had no relation. Or only in need I ask that God. You know. So. That's, as far as my relation to Allah was that. But uh, I was really, really um, empty inside. No peace, no joy at all. Even though I had raised in a very comfortable and loving family, but inside me was very empty, very, very sad, very dry, very, um, as I said, empty. And uh, that's how I raised. The reason how I start seeing or hearing about Christ was um, uh, because of the miracle that happened in my life. Uh, because I, my first child, I miscarried and I lost it. And then I got pregnant with my first one and everything was okay. The, the second child, I was pregnant for five months and then after five months, I start bleeding, and I, I lost that baby, uh, in, unfortunately, in a hospital. And um, after that, I got really um, depressed, very angry at God, even Allah. You know, I was because I, I, that's all I knew. So I got I didn't want to hear any anything about God, anything about Allah, or anything about because I was really depressed and sad. So I was crying and I also, and I also um, I decided to even suicide, you know. Um, and at that time I was married uh, and I had a, a baby, three years old. And I didn't want to talk to my husband, I didn't want to talk to my child. I was closing the door, crying and very sad. So a few months after that, uh, my husband, you know, suggested that because I sh he saw um, he saw me so sad, he said, "Let's get together and take me to trip and buying this and buying that to make me happy," you know. But I wasn't. Uh, so and then after a while, I got pregnant again with my uh, uh, younger one. So and uh, again, I start bleeding. At that time. I met a Christian lady, very believer, that she, she was believing in Jesus. She shared the gospel with me, and she asked me, uh, I was bleeding and I was losing the baby, and she asked me if, Nadere, why don't you ask God to tell you the truth, to show you the truth? I said, what do you mean? She said, just ask him to show you the truth. And I was really surprised to that a question when suggestion that she told me so uh, I remember I knelt down uh, by my bed that night and I cried out to him you know to God I sh asked him show me the truth who you are really if you can because you created me you can show me I don't want to follow any religion religious any pe person because nobody can save me nobody can really uh, change my heart change my life but if you are true, God, show me the truth. And I remember I fell asleep, and I woke up in the middle of the night. My bleeding was completely stopped. The next day I went to the doctor. The doctor checked, checked me and said, there is no detachment of placenta. There is nothing wrong with you. The baby is okay. You have, I mean, it's a miracle. I don't know what happened to you. And then at that time, I said, oh, oh. It must be, ha something happened to me. You know, it was a miracle for me. Maybe for somebody else, it was just an accident. But for me, it was, a, it was a miracle because I asked him to show yourself to me. So I called that Christian lady. Her name was Sandy. I said, what is your faith? I want to hear it. She said, okay. So I went to her house and she started sharing the gospel about Jesus to me. She shared the gospel and about Jesus that God 
became flesh, died on the cross for me, for my sin, for my sorrow, for my uh, pain and everything. And he paid the price. God came flesh and Jesus died on the cross for me. And she, she, uh, she just shared the gospel completely to me. And I was really touched. And I said, you know, Sandy, I, I don't have that God. The God that I know, it's so much different. I want to I wanna experience that loving God that died for me. I want to ch- test it. I want to ask him in my heart. What should I do? Should I just go to church? Do I do know the whole Bible? All that? She said, no, just ask Jesus in your heart and you'll be free and you'll be saved and you'll be healed. I was so shocked and I, I was so joyful. I said, okay, what should I do? She said, just pray with me. So we pray in a simple prayer, ask Jesus in my heart, and as soon as I'm done, I was done with the prayer, I felt so much joy, so much peace. I never experienced it. And my life, since then, my life changed completely. I've been a Christian 18 years now. And Jesus changed my heart, my everything inside me my relation to my husband, my relation to my children, my relation even to my friends and other people. Everything that really I had struggled, Jesus just changed me, changed me completely because he's God and he came in my life and changed the whole, the whole my heart, the whole thing. I had everything in my life. I had a good husband, I had a child, I had a wonderful parents and raised good, but inside me was always empty. I, was, I never had joy, never had joy. And as soon as I accept Jesus in my heart, the joy, the joy is amazing. And I was so joyful since then. When I came home, I was, I was afraid to tell to my husband, say, if I say it, he's gonna say, are you crazy, are you, what did you do and all that. But it took me two weeks. I prayed with Sandy, so I asked her to show me, and I prayed so I can share it with my husband. So I sh- when I shared it, I was so changed that my husband got so, so happy for me. That same, not that even in two weeks I, I see the changes in you. Because you know, I wasn't happy at all. I had everything, but I never be happy. So that's it, and my daughter, my younger one, I never had bleeding, I, I raised her so good. And both of my daughters are in Christ, strong. They love the Lord and their joy of our life. Actually, the other day I was at the, a friend's house and her daughter is having a cancer. She's only 22 and they are Muslim. And I just share the, um, the healing and the, uh, the peace and the joy and the truth that they can really taste it. And um, as I, I said to her, I said, Jesus said, uh, if you want to know the, the tree, who, what is the tree is, see the fruit, you know? And I said, uh, the fruit that I, I had it in my, my life for with Allah, I, I never had a fruit. <laughs> no fruit in my life, no joy, no peace, no love, nothing. I was empty. When I was saying that to them, they, they can feel it because they don't, have, they don't have it. Because I didn't have it. You know, that's the truth. But now I can share that by accepting Jesus in your heart, by accepting and knowing the truth, the truth makes you free. The truth makes you um, uh, healed and joy and all that comes with that truth in your life. Just, t- just experience it. I said, I experienced it, my life changed. Why don't you experience it? Just see. Ask Jesus and see how it, what does he do. You know, simple as that. And I usually share the gospel. And the only thing is I share with Muslim people is because when you share to the Muslim people, you want to, as soon as you share the gospel, they think maybe you want to uh, ask them to change their religious. I'm, as as, as and always say, I'm not talking the religious, I'm a religion. I'm talking about the salvation. I'm talk, God is talking about salvation, not about religious, because God never brought religion. 
we are bringing religion. This religion goes to God. That religion goes to God. No religion. No, we cannot get to God. Because God, the Bible said. So as when I talk to Muslim people, I usually emphasize to the salvation, not religion. When they see the salvation, it's different. Because Muhammad or whoever brings, they bring the religion, other religion. But God never talked about, Jesus never talked about religion. He talked about salvation. <laughs> and so that the truth makes you free.